The Missouri National Guard recently held a ribbon cutting ceremony for a new air assault strip at Rosecrans Air National Guard Base in St. Joseph, Missouri. The strip, which is roughly 4,600 feet long and 75 feet wide, allows for C-130 pilots to train on taking off and landing on a smaller runway. The only way you can get good at landing a 155,000 pound aircraft into a very small space, 3,000 foot, is you have to practice that. So this assault runway that we have built allows our pilots to practice that skill set. When you go in a contingency environment, uh, I believe the minimum width is 60 feet. So it can be a challenging runway for the pilots and it's a, a good practice for them to get some good experience on a narrower runway. The C-130 Hercules has been in service for the United States military since the 1950s. The four-engine prop plane is used for a variety of missions and most fall under the umbrella of troop and cargo delivery. Land into a short field runway and deliver we call it beans and bullets to the troops on the ground. We deliver troops, we deliver vehicles, we deliver ammunition, food. That mission set is for us to train and be able to land in very short field runways, in some cases unimproved runways, which would look like a dirt runway. One of the features of the new air assault strip is hard to appreciate with the naked eye. It's fully night vision goggle compatible. We actually will put out lights that are reflective in the uh, infrared spectrum because that's what our night vision goggles look at. If you look out from underneath the MVGs, it's absolutely black. You do not see anything. So taking a young pilot and getting him to the point where they're comfortable operating on MVGs with the thought that I'm going to go do this in an Afghanistan or in an Iraq, in a dirt strip, with minimal lighting while taking fire, that's the leap that we're trying to make and get our, our folks ready for. And anything we can do here locally to simulate that or get that more realistic is extremely valuable for our training. Our partnerships with the city and the fact that we run the tower and we run the radar here with the military controllers allows us to actually turn all the lights off on the runway and we can land at a city-owned airport with all the lights off. Uh, that partnership is, is probably unprecedented in the United States. Rosecrans Air National Guard Base sits within the city-owned Rosecrans Regional Airport. Military, commercial, and private aircraft all use the airport. The Air Assault Strip Project was a joint effort between the National Guard, the City of St. Joseph, and the Missouri Department of Transportation. On this, the Guard Bureau paid for 65 percent, and a lot of that came from the fact that we were the major users for this particular runway. This was a great partnership between the National Guard, the state of Missouri and MoDOT, Buchanan County, St. Joseph, the Levy District here, all everybody pooling together to make sure that this runway became a reality, which is going to ensure uh, the continued uh, work of the ATAC school, our weapons instructor school, and the continued growth of the Air Guard uh, here at Rosecrans. The Missouri National Guard forecasts that the air assault strip will pay for itself in just a few years. If you assume that this isn't here, our pilots have to go somewhere else to train. And because they have to go somewhere else to train, they have to pay for the fuel to get there and the fuel to get back. And fuel is a major expense here on base. So by saving that fuel, essentially you're, you're paying for the runway. A C-130 can hold roughly 9,000 gallons of uh, jet fuel. Our cost locally here brings us up to about $16,000 to do that. This cost savings is that we don't have to transient fly to another location to do this training. It's right here. So I literally can take off, come back in and land on a fully accredited salt strip, and it could take 10 minutes to do that. Colonel Black says he'll soon get his turn to land a C-130 on the new air assault strip. I'm going to try and do it next week. I'm a little bit mad that some of these young crack pilots have got a chance before me. In fact, we, we had a hard time keeping them off of the assault strip. As soon as it opened up, everybody was clamoring to be the first pilot to hit the assault strip. So they're all excited about it. I'm excited about it. It's the new thing on our base. Everybody wants to be a part of it.